so we're walking down this path, and we encounter what can only be described as a tortoise traffic jam, where there's two tortoises coming from one direction and one coming from the other. And the width of this path isn't very large, so really only one tortoise can fit at a time. I'm wondering, how are they going to settle this? Who's going to get the right of way on this path? And the first tortoise, much smaller, he, you know, he lost pretty quickly to the much larger tortoise. But the second tortoise turned out to be about the same size. And they engage in, in this sort of staring contest where they're trying to raise their head above the other one. But since they're the same height, it, they're always at the same level. They start lowering their necks, always at the same level, always, you know, maintaining the same height. We're wondering, who's going to win this? It became very intense. We didn't know what was going to happen next. And then one of them raises his head so much higher than the other one just very quickly. And because he did that, he wins. He wins because he got his head up higher and the other one has to yield and give him the right of way. And it's just an incredible thing to see in the wild. And, and what this video actually doesn't show is the one that lost was a bit of a sore loser. He actually knocked the other tortoise as he walked by. It was just really incredible to see that. Moments like this are probably once in a lifetime for me. And seeing these tortoise in their natural habitat, watching their behavior as they share this path, reminds me why being a responsible tourist in the Galapagos is so important. We as ecotourists need to visit and experience these kinds of amazing places in a way that respects the fragile environment, reducing the impact of our journey on the place these species call their home.